Hi, let's discuss minority traversal and related properties. In this section, I'll focus how divide and conquer technique can be applied to binary tree. A binary tree is defined as a finite set of node that is either empty or consists of fruit and two disjoint binary tree TL and TR. TL is for left soft tree. TR is for right subtree. So you can say a binary tree is combination of root and two disjoint binary tree. It's left subtree and it's right subtree like this. This is the root and this part is its left subtree and this part is its right subtree. Let's discuss algorithm for finding height of a binary tree. Algorithm height. So I'll compute recursively the height of the binary tree, input a binary tree, output height of the tree. If t equals to phi, return minus 1, means if tree is empty, return minus 1. If tree is not empty, some nodes are there, then height will be maximum of height of t left or height of t right plus 1. So what is the maximum from left subtree height or right subtree height plus 1 that will be height of a minor tree. Now what is height of this minor tree just find left subtree height here height is 1 2 3 here height is 1 and 2. So we need to find maximum of 3 and 2 maximum of 3 and 2 is 3 plus 1 plus 1 per root. So height is 4. We measure a problem's instance size by the number of node. From the number of node, we can guess how big is the binary tree or how small is the binary tree. We can say a of n t equals to a of n t left plus a of n t right plus 1. So in left subtree, how many nodes are there? Plus in right subtree, how many nodes are there? Plus 1, that is total number of nodes. The extra nodes are called external or you can say leaf and the original nodes are called internal. The number of external node is always one more than number of internal node. Just see this diagram here. These are the internal node. There are one, two, three, four. Four internal node. You can say n equals to four and x equals to one, two, three, four, five. So number of external node is always 1 plus number of internal node. So we found x equals to n plus 1. n is the internal node, x is the external node. Now what will be total number of node? Total number of node that will be x plus n. And we found x equals to n plus 1. So we can write n plus 1 plus n. That is 2n plus 1. So you can see total number of node equals to 2 multiplication internal node plus 1 or you can say external node plus internal node. And this also true for full binary tree. Full binary tree means either there will be 0 children or 2 children. There are also total number of node equals to x plus n external node plus internal node or 2 multiplication internal node plus 1. The most important divide and conquer algorithm for binary tree are its three classic traversal that is pre-order, in-order and post-order. In three traversal we visit node of the binary tree recursively means we are visiting the tree root and we are visiting left and right subtree. The order may be changed in pre-order, in-order and post-order but we are visiting root left subtree, right subtree. So in pre-order, first we'll visit root, then we'll visit left subtree, then we'll visit right subtree. So pre-order means root, left, right. The root is visited before left and right subtree are visited. Next is in-order traversal. In in-order, first we'll visit left, then we'll visit root, next we'll visit right. So left, root right the name is in order as root is in between left and right next is post order in post order first we'll visit left then we'll visit right then we'll visit root post as root we are visiting latter 
So in post order, the root is visited after the left and right soft tree. In in order, the root is visited after left soft tree and before right soft tree. In pre order, the root is visited before left and right soft tree. So finally, not all questions are about binary tree required traversal of both left and right soft tree. I already discussed binary source there, you just visit one soft tree, you don't visit all the soft tree. Even for insertion also, we don't require all the tree, we just visit one part. So for example, the source insert operation for a binary source tree require processing only one of the two soft tree. We are not going both left and right, either we are going left side or we are going right side. So accordingly, we can consider binary source or insertion in binary tree are not an application of divide and conquer, but rather an example of decrease and conquer. I already discussed binary source in decrease and conquer. In some book, you will find binary source as a part of divide and conquer. If decrease and conquer option are there, just go with decrease and conquer. If it is not there and divide and conquer option is there, then go with divide and conquer. But actually, binary source is part of a decrease and conquer. Let's see an example of pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal. This is a graph. Now pre-order. Pre-order will be root, left, right. So first we'll visit root A. Then we'll visit its left subtree. So now in this left subtree, this is the root. So we'll visit B. Then we'll visit its left subtree. Now here this is the root. So we'll visit D. After D, its left child, no left child. So we'll visit right child, that is G. Now this left part is turned. Next we'll visit right part, that is E. Now this whole left part is turned. Next we'll visit right part. So in right soft tree, first we'll visit root, that is C. Then left soft tree, that is F. So A, B, D, G, E, C, F. That is our pre-order traversal. Next check in order. In in order, first we'll visit left soft tree. Then we'll visit root. Next we'll visit right soft tree. So root left soft tree is this. Now for B, its left soft tree is this. Now first we'll visit this D and G, this part in in order. So left, no child, we'll visit D, next we'll visit G. Now this part is done. Next we'll visit B, left part is done, we'll visit root, next we'll visit right, that is E. Now whole this part is done, left soft tree is done, next we'll visit root, that is A, next we'll visit right soft tree, in right soft tree we'll also visit left root right. So first we'll visit F, next we'll visit C. So D, G, B, E, A, F, C, that is our in order traversal. Next we'll do post order traversal, post order means left, right, root. So what is left? This is the root, we'll go to left, then left, so this is the extreme left. So now left here, no child is there, so we'll visit its right, means we'll visit G, then we'll visit D. So left, right, root, now this left part is done, we'll visit right, that is E, next we'll visit B. So this left part is done, next we'll visit right part, now in this right part, left is F, no right child. So we'll visit its parent C, next we'll visit A. So G, D, E, B, F, C, A is our post order traversal. Just mark in pre order root come first, in in order root is the middle and in post order root is the last node. Let's discuss some more examples. Traverse the following binary tree. One binary tree is given and we need to traverse in pre-order, in-order and in post-order. So let's first traverse in pre-order. So pre-order means root, left, right. So first we'll traverse root that is A. Then we'll traverse left soft tree. In left soft tree root is B, next D, next E. Root, left, right. Now this left part is turned. Now we'll visit the right part. So first we'll visit C, C don't have any left side, so we'll visit F. So in pre-order we got 
A, B, D, E, C, F. Next check in order. In order means left, root, then right. So first we'll visit left, that is D. Next we'll visit root, means we'll visit B. Next we'll visit E. So this part is done, left part is done. Next we'll visit A. Now here no left child, so we'll visit C, then F. So we got in order as D, B, E, A, C, F. Next we'll do post order. Post order means left, right and root. So first we'll visit left, that is D. Next we'll visit E, then we'll visit B. So in this sub tree, this is left, this is right, this is root. Now we visited this left sub tree. Next we'll check for right sub tree. Now here no left child, so we'll visit right child means F. Then we'll visit C. Now right part is done, left, right, root. So next we'll visit A. We got D, E, B, F, C, A as post order traversal. Let's discuss another question. Draw a binary tree with 10 nodes in such a way that the in order and post order traversal of the tree is the following list. One list is given. This is for in order and this list is for post order. In order post order is given and it is asking for constructing binary tree. For constructing binary tree, we need at least two ordering in order pre order or in order post order. Then only we can construct the binary tree. Here in order is given and post order is given. So we can easily construct the binary tree. Now just find what is root. In post order, last node is the root. So 2 is the root. Identify two position in in order, 2 is here. So now 2 will be root. 2 left part will be this and 2 right part will be this. Now from the left part 9, 3, 1, 0, 4. Just check in post order 3 is the last node from this list. So now 3 will be its left child. Now from 7, 6, 8, 5 which node is last? 7, 6, 8, 5, 8 is the last node. So 8 will be its right child. Now just find 3 position. Before 3 just 1 element is there 9. So 9 will be left child of 3. And 1 0 4 will be right sub tree of 3. Now just create 9. Now from 1 0 4. From 1 0 4 check in the post order. Which element is last. It is 1 4 0. 0 is at last. Means 0 is parent of 1 and 4. Just do 0 as a right child of 3. Now just check in in order. 1 is left child. 4 is right child. So 1 will be 0 left child. And 4 will be 0 right child. As 0 is in between 1 and 4 in in order. Now left part is done. Next we will do for right part. Right sub tree contains 7, 6, 8, 5 as in order. Now just check in post order. In post order it is 6, 7, 5, 8. So 8 is last that we already constructed as parent for the sub tree. Now its right part is just one element 5. So 5 will be its right side. And left child will be 7 and 6. Now from 7, 6 which will be parent and which will be child. So just mark in post order 7 is at last. So 7 will be parent and 6 will be its right child. As in in order 6 present right side of the 7. So 7 will be 8 left child and 7 right child will be 6. Now we constructed the binary tree from these two traversal in order and post order. Accordingly you can also construct binary tree from in order and pre order. In pre order root is the first node. In in order root will be in middle and in post order root will be at last node. With this I am finishing divide and conquer. In divide and conquer I discussed min max problem, matrix multiplication, more sort quick shot and some binary tree properties. For details about binary tree refer data structure lecture. In next lecture I will start transform and concur. 
If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.